Hi everyone, my name is Gina. Welcome to Tight Ship Mama. Today I am kicking off a 100 day summer of success. So I will be posting every single day for the next 100 days to give you a small decluttering task that by the end of the 100 days will either have your house in really good ship shape or you're gonna have a really good start on uh, how to get the rest of your house in shape. So if you are interested in doing this for the next 100 days, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell and you'll get notified every morning when I post my new video for the day. Every task is designed to take about 15 minutes or less. Now, are you an overachiever and you wanna go ahead and keep on going? Uh, don't do that. Stick to the 15 minutes because I want you to complete the task. My worst nightmare for you is for you to like begin on a project and then get distracted or something comes up and you can't get back to it or you lose motivation and then you not only have a cluttered house, you also have this big heaping pile of clothing that needs to now, you know, get kicked around your bedroom for three months. So just stick to the 15 minutes and I guarantee you will have a home that is a lot lighter and you are gonna feel so much better at the end of the 100 days. So day one, we are starting in your bedroom. And I wanna start in your bedroom because it's where we need to have our place to just kind of go and chill. You need a sanctuary somewhere in your house that is clutter free. And I don't think there's any place better than your bedroom. So day one, we are going to begin with just your bed. I would love you to go declutter down to one set of sheets for just your bed. The reason I like one set of sheets is because it forces you to wash, dry, and get them back on the bed in the same day. You might be worried that, what if I forget that they're in the washer and they don't get dried? Guess what? That could happen. But guess what else? You'll never do it twice, okay? This prevents the traveling basket of like homework because when you have two sets of sheets, you take off the one and you put on a new one and then there's nothing forcing you to do that first set of sheets, okay? So it can sit for a long, long time or it can go to the washer and then it gets to the dryer and then it goes back to the laundry basket and then it gets pushed around the house until someone says like, oh, let's change the sheets, okay? Instead of having the job completely done in one day. Um, if you have like a winter set and a summer set, then that's okay, keep two sets. Um, but the idea is to not have homework with your laundry when you launder your sheets, okay? So that's step one is to declutter down to one set of sheets for just your bed. Don't do the whole linen closet, don't do everybody else's bed, just your bed. Then I want you to really take a good hard look at your, your bed and say, are the decorative pillows too much? Do I still love them? Do they need an update? Um, how's the quality of your pillows? That sort of thing. I want you to use the very best sheets that you have and to make sure that your bed is your own little oasis, even if the rest of your bedroom is a hot mess, okay? That's day one. Tune in tomorrow and find out what's day two. Take care.